So another type of problem that you'll you'll come across while doing PMI is is proving an inequality for giving ends, right? And we again do the same. So my whole PM statement, the whole statement consists of both sides of the inequality, and it becomes 2n plus 7 is less than n plus 3 whole square, correct? P1 is 2 into 1 plus 7 is less than 1 plus 3 whole square and this tells you that 9 is less than 16. Okay, which is true. So which is true. So I, I see that that P1 is true. This is the trigger, correct? Actually, this is a trigger. Now, we move ahead. Let P, K be true. So, that is the statement P, K with LHS this less than K plus 3 whole square is true. When we again write it, we have to prove that. We have to prove that. We have to prove that that P K plus 1 is true. That is, that is P K plus 1 which now becomes 2 gets was multi being multiplied by k now it gets multiplied by k plus 1 so k plus 1 comes under parenthesis brackets plus 7 is less than less than k plus 1 plus 3 whole square correct that we get by replacing k by k plus 1 everywhere and and so so we have to prove that is Therefore, we have to prove to prove that 2k plus 2 plus 7, so 2k plus 9 is less than than k plus plus 4 whole square, right? Now here, what we do, we have something like that, right? Something. Sure. So you, in these cases, you start from what is given as true, as you were doing in the case where that there was an LHS and RHS, and you were supposed to prove the equality, right? Prior to the divisibility problems that we did. So we start from here. So 2k, we 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 have we have 2k plus 7 is less than k plus 3 whole square. Okay, this is less than k plus 3 whole square and, and I want this to be proved, right? So 2k plus 7 plus 2 is less than k plus 3 whole square plus 2. Inequality is another full chapter in class 11, right? Okay, but you just, just, just know for now, whatever, if you add something on both the sides, the inequality remains. So, so say 5 is less than 9. I, I add kind of 4 to both sides, then this inequality will hold. So 9 will remain less than 13. Get that? So, so 2k plus 9 is less than k, k square plus 6k plus 9 plus 2, right? So that is 11. Right now, you have to do some amount of comparing here. So try to compare. This is what this is k square plus 8k plus 16. Right? Is it not? What is this? What is this? This is k square plus 8k plus 16. Correct? Now, now just try to see. Now, is this less than k square? plus 8k plus 16 is this after addition of 2 on both the sides is that less than this 
because because here is this more than this no i have added 5 on both sides first of all and then added 2k and 2k is always a natural number so there is there, there is no no possibility of this term going of 2k becoming negative do we see that no no for now k square plus 6k plus 11 right isn't this less than k square plus 6k plus 11 plus 2k plus 5 is it less why because this is always positive this is always positive no so a number whatever is this this is definitely less than this whole thing added some uh, with, with something positive added to it right correct so so this is what has happened so this is less than this now you see 2k plus 9 this is if if this is say 2k plus 9 i am I'm, i'm trying to make you visualize it this is already less than than something say 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 k square plus 6k plus 11 which is less than less than k square plus 8k plus 16 okay okay so isn't this if if this is less than something which is less than this then obviously 2k plus 9 is less than less than this so i can altogether avoid this and straight away write this right because this is smaller than something which is smaller than what we are trying to compare it correct so so by this i can straight away write that 2k plus 9 is 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 less than k square plus 8k plus 16 and and that means 2k plus 9 is less than less than k plus 4 whole square and which 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 is which is pk plus 1 therefore i have proved that therefore pk plus 1 is is true hence hence by by pmi therefore by the principle of mathematical induction the inequality holds for all n for all n and pn is true true for all natural numbers right these are basically three type of things that you can encounter in 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 pmi okay